I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's see. There we go. I I think we got it going on. I'm not sure. This is usually how this, this works out for me. I'm going to try it anyway. I'm trying something here. Let me just give it a quick test. Yep. Okay. All right. I, I think we might be doing something. I think, I think we might be getting into the pudding. How are we doing, everybody? Welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge, Honey Edition. Listen. Uh, I was going to put out a video, and usually what happens is I put out these videos, and uh, I, it's, 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 it's a weird thing. I put out a video, and nobody says anything about the video, but then I get like a billion emails, and I'm like, why didn't you just say something in the video? So, hello, everybody. Welcome to the Greenhouse Lounge. What we're going to do today together is I'm going to, with the best of my very limited uh, abilities. Hey, Unbiased LLC. What's up, sister? What's up, J3GS? What's going on, brother? Good to see you in here. Uh, Joy C, Tila. Oh, let, me, let me put on my Superman shades. Hey, newlywed trucker homes there. How you doing, sister? Hey, Tiana Scott. Good to see y'all in here. Uh, uh, J3GS. I think you might get a hang. I think you might get a a, a little uh, tingle out of this, brother. So what I'm going to do right off the rip, right off the rip, is I'm going to get right into it. I'm going to tell y'all what this is. What this is, is a video of what me and Lady Led just pulled out of one hive today. And uh, woo, 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 okay. I'm sitting here, we've been eating this honey all morning. So what's going to happen is I'm going to finally have a chance, if I do this right, to give everybody a chance to ask the questions instead of worrying about putting them in the comment section or me going live and the people ain't here or whatever happens. What's going on, Broke Farm? What's up, brother? Hey, she is sunshine. What's up? Uh, who was that? I just see that Anthony boy. How you doing? So I'm going to play this video and I'm going to be able to because I don't type fast. I, I'm one of these kind of typers. I'm one of these dudes. So I, I can clearly talk way faster than I can type. So I'll be here to either answer your question while we watch the video together or what have you. And then I got an announcement to make afterwards because there's going to be something I didn't I ran out of time, but I'm going to be showing you guys some a couple of things that I'm going to be using here that, that may help you in the process. OK, so I'm going to just go get started. See, I almost did something stupid. I almost did something stupid. This is. Hey, Rucker Homestead. How you doing, brother? Good to see you. Hey, Sabine, how you doing? I hope I pronounced your name correctly. So I'm going to play this video, and as you type, I'm going to be reading your comments if you have one. Hey, Manti, say, cool, I finally caught a live. Yeah, you might not want this one. Hey, uh, so sweet. Deborah, how you doing? Deborah Allen? Okay. Ooh, I almost did it again. I got to stop that. So I'm going to get right into it. Let me see if I can do this. I'm, I'm, I'm trying, y'all. If y'all see how to do this better than I know how to do, just let me know. My head is still in the game. There we go. That, that'll work. That'll work. That ain't bad. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit play on this bad boy here. And we're going to get into the groove. All right. All right. We if you have any questions, let harvest. me know. You we want live. anything so I can going pause honey and harvest. Then we can get right into see what's going on. The hive in the construction box. This hive has uh, swarmed out. 
when hey, the tennis box started man. doing their own thing, the last time we looked in there, it was loaded full of hey, honey. Gwendolyn. So we about to get that going right now. Thank you, unbiased. If you wonder what we're doing, we going in. We going in the first hive of the swarm that we just caught a couple of weeks ago. You guys watched us catch this swarm, and this is what is giving us all ready. We need a box. Bless you. This is peak right season this whole for catching bees, pure honey. And this is why I keep trying to get everybody into honey. And before we ask, I don't sell honey anymore. That's the exchange. I don't sell honey anymore. My thing is just trying to get everybody else into keeping their own bees and they'll get their own apiary. This, this whole you thing is loaded for honey. As much honey as you want. Okay, I grab this one. You grab that one. If you can. Hey, all in the home. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Good God, look at that. Hold on a second here. Um, Game Nerd Mom, you say, have I tried wax dip hives? Hives? No. No, I haven't. Uh, you keep having moisture issues. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that because you live in Ohio where it's all that snow and cold all year round. See, okay, let me get go, going back on this so we don't make this. Pure, 100%. Oh, man. Uh, Jay Book said, I have a bee colony that pure, moves into the oak tree. Pure honey. Oh, we that honey. We can figure out how to capture Both sides. I can how to do that. Honey. Shake them. Shake them. This is how we shake our bees off of our honey frame. I don't like using that brush. I like to shake them off. If that frame so. ain't too heavy, we shake that Here's sucker another. off. If you shake another. off enough bees, the rest of them will follow. Hey, uh, honey, if GV, honey. GV Clark, sure. Clark, uh, make it go uh, viral. You know it. Make it go viral. I always, how you doing, sister? PR Carol, how you doing? New York Texan, good to see you in here. And another one. We've been Show doing this camera for about 15 years. Another one, Cap Honey. It's Shake working, it on, honey. Baby. It's working. I think I ain't kidding. This is how, how we you do attract it. bees. We to tag the box. team these boxes. You can do it by yourself, but when you got somebody to help you, this is the best way. Bees kind of figure out Another what they want to do. Well, what you're seeing right now, let me back up for a second. Can everybody still see that stream that I had on there or what happened to the live? Right. Okay. Give me two ticks. I don't know. I hit a button. I told you I'm I'm not a. Uh... Give me two ticks. I'm going to add this on there, back on there. I don't know what I did. Do, 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 There we go. There we go. I was trying to back up to Another show you one. this. So far, only one had blood on it. That full white wall. Okay, we can see that again. Sorry about that, you guys. I wish I could pause this. Another one. Four. Oh, this got plastic. Thank you guys for being patient. Y'all yeah. know I'm new at the uh -huh. stream yard at all. Look at that. How you doing? Uh, you see that? That's Shake all thing, honey baby. capped. And I'm going to show you. Heavy, huh? In a minute. Yeah, I can see. 
That one got a nice, nice uh, chunk on it. Oh yeah. I'm gonna show you exactly uh, what you're looking at right now. Right now you probably can't see it good. Yeah, yeah. Please. Hey T R L Carol say now I can see this you and Lady Led doing the bees. We've been doing this forever. Say my bees did not make it through the winter, so I'm hundred percent pure cap. Do not make it through. Looking for the queen as I go. New Colin, kind of just another shot. Never for everything all at once. Hey, ties cake decor. Say hey, Led. I was finished watching and got oh got the gas video. Pause that to watch. That's one full box of a hundred percent. Pure cap. So what honey. we're doing now is putting empty frames in until I can get the other two out of here. I gotta take those Not frames that, honey. full of you honey. Sweeter than this, honey. And get that honey off of those frames. You like that? That was game right uh, there. Let's see. Led you pick it up when you I have down. to go on the other browser to be on YouTube side. Wait a minute. Hold on. I, I wanna give me. Say, led you have to click on the other browser to be on YouTube side and not StreamYard to pause and control. Got you, got you. Okay, I'm. We gonna have. We gonna have to chop it up about that because I'm. You know, I'm fiddling around in the dark right here. Um. Let's see. What do you do for wax? What do you do for moth and parasite prevention? Those pests that threaten the hive we talk about all of that in our class right now i'm just presenting the honey harvest but all of that is done in the class that's some stuff that it take me all day to uh describe to you right this minute okay but i i got you uh make you go viral i'll talk to you about that most definitely so let's get back into it because i want to be able to do this a little bit slicker than what i'm doing right now Oh, view tab studio youtube.com. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is us <laughs> eating all this honey this morning, getting a fresh taste. Now, I need you to see this full screen. My mm -hmm. I'm gonna bit that whole nubbin off. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is this is a nice haul. We got Ooh. honey and mess all over the table. Family. Oh. This is pure. I love pure. it when it's new wax too. Mm. No extra flavors. Mm. No preservatives. Are those the only size the containers are made or smaller sizes can be purchased mm. when I start? We just stick with deeps and mediums. Mm. You can get the smalls. Don't waste your time or money. She's been mm. feeding me like a baby all morning. That's Ugh. You can't even talk. <laughs> Your mouth be glued together. My taste buds ain't ready for this sweetness. It look like I got on. Wait, hey, um, gloss. make it go viral. Wait till you see the rest of how this is done. Wait till you see how it goes from those frames mm. into the jar. That's so. That's so sweet. Matter of fact, I'm gonna show you this. Mm. Okay, so this is just, I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. That's this. We've been just tearing that apart all morning. And all this is is pure. Let me pull it up. It don't look like much, but that's just pure honey. We're going to talk a little bit more about this in a minute, okay? Does the mm, does the honeycomb oh ever my lemon have, water? I don't know what that. Give that me some more. Is. Give me some more. Like I'm how my lemon water? You know what not to pull if it's capped. A newbie need to be listening or yeah, going to in a class. If if you're new at this, Bob, thank you, thank you, sweetheart. 
if you're new at this, you really should be listening to somebody or, or going to your local beekeeping association mm. and trying and listening and pay it. I don't think, I think the class is some, I don't think, I don't know how much it is in your area. That's the okay. realest limited advertising. And go through the, um, sorry, I meant brew. Once you take the class, you know brew from honey, from eggs, from larva. You know what to be looking for from cat brew. To, we teach that in our class. I can take some. That's all pure honey, y'all. Pure. Uh, J3GS Farms, my brother. That's all you, man. That's all you. Wait, that ain't even that ain't even a forty cap one. Wait. Okay. 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 Here we go. Here we go. That's for J3. Oh, oh, what is that? We I'm tasted taste some honey good. today. Mm. A good tang. We what taste is this flavor? This honey might be the best honey I ever what tasted in my that? life. I don't know what the heck that, that flavor was. It was almost like mm. what kind of berry? Like a Jolly Rancher. What like kind a Jolly of berry Rancher is that? with caramel in it. I don't know what that was, but it was amazing. That just tastes like a really fresh flower. It turned my mm. head inside out. It was so I know good. what it tastes like. What's, mm, mm, mm. What's that flower? Not not honeysuckle. What's I can never remember one? this I flower. Privet. That. That's what it tastes like. Chinese privet. Mm -hmm. Like what that smells like. Chinese Beautiful privet. Smell. It tastes like that smell. You guys need to go look at if you guard if you guard mm. if you're a gardener, go look at what a Chinese privet mm. flower is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get out of there. Never. So this is what we was doing all okay. morning. Sitting around eating so, honey like a cup <clears throat> of bean. Next thing we're gonna be doing is spinning all this honey out. We got um let me see. Oh, oh, MTGV oh. crime podcast. No, they need to see this happen. I was so, just about to what we're gonna be doing like some good candy. Whoa. I know that was long, but some people I wish see I could it. let everybody taste. I am going to be spinning uh three, six, seven, eight, ten frames of honey out live. So if you want to hang out for that. If you want to see what honey looks like and how I spin it out with the honey spinner and it comes out pure, raw, golden honey like this. If you don't know anything about that right there, I'm going to show you. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'm, don't, I'm not Come going check us out when we spin this honey out live. Live Farmer 73, I love you and I'm video preview. Farmer 73, I love you and I'm out. And remember, if you have any questions during that live about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and why I'm doing it, please make sure you put your questions in the comment section below. Now. All right. Okay. With that being said, is there any questions before I show y'all all this, this lusciousness? Hey, Grown with Hudson. Not to say, hey, hey, Cassandra. Hey, Newlywed Trucker Homestead. Hey, uh, Manti Blades. What's going on, everybody? Uh, Suds and Skins Natural, how you doing? Say, you don't know whether to laugh or cry. It it do that to you. Uh, what was this? Are you saving wax for other things? Yes, we always do. As a matter of fact, I got plenty of it from us just chewing it. We chew it and then we put it back because we're going to use it for other things. You can use wax for anything. I'm not going to get into all the reasons what or things what we use wax for. This is one of the main things I use it for. I can say that. I use it for bait. And I'm going to be showing you how to make a bait box. I started the video and I haven't finished it. But I'm going to show you how I make my bait boxes, how we catch swarms. Okay. Uh, let me see. What was that? Black Tropical Homestead in the house. What's going on, brother and sister? Up in here. Let me see. I've I seen another question. Okay. I have bee boxes. Do I have to capture the queen in order to transfer them? No. 
I have B boxes. Do I have to capture the queen in order to transfer? I'm not quite understanding your question. Mm -hmm. Capture the queen to transfer them where and what and why? I need to know that first. Let me see. Suds of Skin Natural said, I'm a friend. I'm a friend of mine's does this on her balcony of her apartment in Baltimore, Maryland, and she give me peace and I don't know how to eat with wax. I thought I was supposed to swallow the wax. You can. I do. <laughs> I do, most definitely. You can swallow the wax. Broke farmer in the house. What's going on, man? Um, Where was that at? Anyway. And wax can be expensive. A pound is about $20. That's not even real wax. Who, who just said that? A pound of wax is about $20. If you get, if you're getting wax from like, I'm not going to say the name of the store, a craft store, it's not real. Read it. It's some kind of other like paraffin wax mixed with a little bit of real wax mixed with some smell. It's not real wax. It says 100% bee wax, but if you flip it over and read the label, it, it gives you a whole other explanation. This is the same stuff I keep telling y'all they do with honey. They says 100% pure honey. What, they, what the label should say, it has 100% pure honey in this garbage that we're selling you. There is some, but this whole big bottle is not 100% pure honey. Okay. So, yes, watch out for that. If you're not getting it from a local beekeeper, don't, the wax is nine times out of 10, not, not real. It's some other kind of paraffin wax or all kind of concoctions. Flip it over, read that label and watch. You will thank me. So don't go off eating that stuff or anything. You will see. Don't go using that for skincare products and all that other stuff. Some of them even say that I've seen in the, a craft store which begins with the letter M. It says not for consumption. And it says something else on it. What kind of natural wax is not for consumption? Don't do it. Hey, uh, J Book. Um, J3GS Farm said, uh, tell, tell him, bro. Wait, 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 where you, where you go? You move too fast, brother. Say, tell them, bro, all honey is not honey. All honey is not honey. You want to see real honey? Y'all seen me and Lady Led harvest this pure honey out of the hive about a month ago. This is pure. You watch this. What we did with this is a was a crush and strain. This is what you call a crush and strain. A crush and strain is this. I will literally... Take this honeycomb right here, put on some gloves and crush this in the palm of my hands, chop it up with a fork and let it drain through a strainer. Okay, let's see. Here's another question here. And then I'm going to show you all the actual frames of honey. When do you use your smoker? Do you use your pellets or pine? Um, you, you only use your smoker. Oh, that's that's a lot to explain. You use your smoker when you're about to go into an active hive. If you're going into an active hive, and that's just to confuse the signal. And I use what kind of fuel I use, whatever I can get. I use an old T-shirt, anything cotton, socks, drawers, some jeans, uh, pine straw, leaves, whatever is around me. Um, some of my chicken bedding, whatever I got, some old mulch i use anything for my smoker i don't just pick one thing or another but that's a good question uh what breed of bees do you guys have i just picked up carolinians let me tell you something that is the biggest crock of crap i'm here to tell you that is the biggest hugest crock of crap that i don't even know why beekeepers do that they say oh we're gonna sell you european bees they're so mild and gentle I don't like that because they say the European bees are the most sweetest, gentlest, most honey producing. They're like angel bees, but the African bees is the ones that murder people. I don't, I just don't, I don't like that. Number one. Number two, <laughs> number two, see how the media do us. Number two is 
when your queen go out and mate somewhere, you don't know what you got no more. You don't know what these wild bees or what she's mating with. You don't know. You cannot control bees. You can't control them. You can't breed them like that unless when they tell you this bee is this kind of bee and it's been artificially inseminated in a lab, you that's what you got. And I can tell you one thing about um, those real true artificially inseminated queens that some, a lot of us get. They always fail. They're always weak. They always die out soon. They stop. They stop producing eggs early. The bees to get is mutt bees. Bees to come out of the wild. This is what you. This is what you're looking at when you get bees out of the wild. Bees just crossbreeding out there in the wild. You get production. You get honey. You get more bees. You get more hives. You get to split those hives. This is what you get out of the wild bees. That crap that they're trying to invent and create in them labs, you're going to get exactly what they're telling you. Um, I, I'm, yeah, uh, I'm, they're, yeah, let me see. I'm moved, I'm gonna move that out the way. Um, Latanya La Logan, can you erase that for me, please? Because I, I hate that word, Africanized bees. Can you erase that for me? Because the only option is giving me is to time you out. I don't want to do that. Latanya Logan, please take that down for me. Um, MTG GV, I got to say crime podcast. That keeps messing me up. Uh, say, I never knew division existed with bees too. Oh my God. Well, you know what? What happens is we create that crap. We create that. Not the bees don't create that. We do. Because when the media stops having its things to talk about, well, they, they make up stuff called murder bees. It's the same bee I've been seeing since I was a little kid. This big, gigantic, airplane-sized bee humming around your yard. They keep saying like it fell from outer space and now they're here all of a sudden. That's the biggest crock of crap I've ever heard. It's a lie. That is a lie. And they ain't called... Uh, murder hornets it's it's so awful it's so awful let me see um game their mom plus bees can get aggressive for many reasons i have when bees are deemed african bees especially since you can't tell unless the dna test them hey man because i can tell you i can tell you when bees gonna get aggressive if that queen has died your bees will be coming to pop people if something harmed that queen if you accidentally crush that queen by inspecting, guess what? Your hive is going to be loud. You can't get close to it. The only, no, you're fine, Latanya. You don't, you, you fine. You're fine. It's no problem. You don't got to apologize. Just that, them words, man, throw me off. Because that's what the media created. Hey, Educated Natural, how you doing, sister? Good to see you in here. Good to see you in the house. Um, let me see where we at, where we at, where we at. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys right out the gate two things. Number one, I've never done this before, but I'm going to because I got enough pre-recorded videos of this. I'm going to show you guys live this. Ugh. Big Bertha. I've had this for about eh, 10 years or so. I'm going to be spinning out the honey inside this. I'm going to show you how this works. We're going to show you that now. These just come off. I rarely even use them. I just got done sanitizing it so you might see a little water down there. So when I crank this wheel, this spins. I'm, a, uh, I'm trying, to, trying to be macho man here. When I crank this, that spins. And it slings the honey up against this wall. And the honey runs down. Let me find it. The, the honey runs down and comes out of that spout. When I open that spout, you pour that directly either through your filter. I'm going to show you that too. And then right into your jar. That is the purest, rawest honey that you can get. We don't heat our honey. We don't treat our honey. We don't do none of that. We don't, uh, what is it? 
pasteurize and boil it and all that weird stuff. Nope. It's as raw as it gets. So this is the cheapest honey spinner that you can get. I don't know how much they cost now. But when I bought this, I think I, I paid like 80 bucks for this years ago. But since things have gotten crazy, I don't know how much they cost now. Now, here's another here's another thing. I only use this when I got a, a decent amount of honey to get done because this whole box of honey that I'm about to show you will literally take me weeks to harvest it. And I, and I won't be able to do nothing else because you can't really walk away from it. You're just going to be in here day and night crushing and straining this honey. I'm going to show you this. I'm going to get back in here. Ooh. Now, please excuse me because this is so heavy. I'm going to show you a couple of frames of this honey. Okay. This is what we're talking about. I'm going to show you what happens. This is what happens when you scrape this. I don't want to get this on my computer. When you scrape that and open those little lids up, those are little caps for every little tiny jar of honey. Every time you scrape that, that's what's inside that. Now, in this one frame of honey, and it's not fully full, uh, 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 uh. you're going to get about one and a half of those you're going to get about one and a half of those babies right there this honey is so dense it doesn't look like it's very much but you'll be surprised everybody watch my other video mm, I'm sorry that got me puckering and you'll see how much honey comes out of that one frame. I'm going to show you this. If you knew, this is definitely, definitely two and a half jars, maybe two, definitely two, maybe two and a half jars of honey out of this one little frame right here. All of that is pure honey. So as soon as I open this up, which Lady Led broke this piece by accident right here, it starts leaking. You can see it leaking now. This is worth a fortune. So like my, my man, J3GS Farms was at um, the uh, Black Tropical Homestead Meetup. And I know, brother, I know people was trying to hustle you out of that honey. Like, what? I can't get that for like $5? I'm sorry, I got honey all of me. I can't get that, that jar of honey for like three. Can I give you three and owe you two? And I know you like, man, if you don't go somewhere, you at the wrong function talking like that. Because J3GS Farms, I know for a fact, don't they don't know what it takes to harvest this honey. This is pure. I'm going to open this one up. Pure. They don't know how much work go into it. Get in that suit, sit out there in 100 degree weather to get that kind of, get that honey right there. They don't even know what you got to do. They don't even know. String that like spaghetti. Woo. 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 So I'm going to show you we got a full box and three frames of this right here. Then I'm going to show you some, some gross stuff. So I'm going to need a rag. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Okay. So this is, this is what we're doing. I got to move this out of the way because this thing heavy right here. Uh, you got to bear with your knees with this. This is all honey, this whole box. And it weighs about 50 pounds. This weighs about 50 pounds, and you, I'm holding it with my fingertips. I'm going to put this down. Mm. 
That's 50 pounds that you're trying to hold up with your fingertips. That is literally 50 pounds of honey because the frames don't weigh nothing. The wax don't weigh nothing. All of that is pure honey. It's dense like gold. Like a block of, the, if you got a block of gold the size of a, a, pool, a pool table ball, you know how much a pool table ball weighs. If you put made a block of pure 14 karat gold the same size, it'll be way heavier because it's so dense. Hey, Gigi's Natural. How you doing, sister? I seen a question in here, too. Uh, let me see. And I'm about to show you all some more of this. So I'm going to spin this honey out live. Not today. But I want everybody to come in there and, and watch everything I do. Um. Uh, let me see. I, I seen a question. Let me see. She said, can't hustle a honey pimp. No, you can't. No, you can't. He know. He know how I do. Um, are they just called honey spinners? Um, once you pull up honey spinner anywhere, it's gonna pretty much take you to where you where you need to go on online somewhere. And J3GS Farm say, especially when you harvest it in yourself, you don't play with your prices. If you're selling honey, that's why I stopped selling honey. Because everybody be like, Ugh, $35 for this little funky jar? $35 for this little funky jar, honey? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's $35. Matter of fact, now it's $40 because it's so funky. The funkier the, the funkier the better. I don't play with that. I you gotta know your worth. That's a lesson that it, it ain't just about honey, it's about everything. You gotta know your worth and you gotta know what you put into this project. This is not everybody is so drive through, got the drive through mentality, and everybody got the Walmart mentality. Damn, said the name. Everybody got the you know WM mentality. They think everything is supposed to cost $7.99 for some reason. I don't, I don't understand that. When you see people putting in real work and you're gonna get real quality, real pure stuff, don't question, don't question them, and you know you're getting a real deal. If you see you go to a farmer and you want to buy a head of lettuce or a head of cabbage, and he has to literally kneel down, chop the head of lettuce, wash it off, and hand it to you, pay that man. Because you saw exactly where your food came from. You know, I got videos of us harvesting this honey for the last 10, 15 years. And I'm telling you, you know exactly where, when I used to sell honey, you know exactly where your honey coming from. Um, What about raw milk? What, what does that have to do with anything I'm talking about right now? I don't, I don't got no cows. Raw milk. Maybe I missed something. Maybe I, I was I was gone too long. Uh that's right, uh duty with. Okay. What's up, B Rich? I'm just now coming down here seeing you. What's going on, brother? Miss uh Renaissance grandma in the house, GG natural. What's going on, everybody? Okay, so no other questions. I'm going to show you one other thing to save you some money if you ever get into this. What's up, Black Guns? Uh, this is going to save you money. This is a strainer to strain out all these little fine bits of wax like that. See, that's in a perfect little octagon shape. The bees do that to cap each and every little octagon cell. Now, to catch all that mess, this is all you need. If you buy this from a bee supply company, this costs you probably, I don't know, $30, $40. But if you just go buy it from anywhere, it ain't nothing but a freaking paint strainer, and it costs you $0.99 cent for a pack of two. Just go get a paint strainer. They're the exact same thing. What's that other stuff? 
what is that stuff called in gardening to to or or not gardening but everybody's starting to use it in gardening too but it's for crafts it's just like this toolie or something like that what is it called where you make like little lace doilies out of it where is uh unbiased llc i know she know what is that stuff called uh but you understand what i'm saying uh Tooling, tooling, tooling. That's all this is. Tool. Thank you, unbiased. I knew you would know. I knew you knew. But that's all this is. 99 cents for a pack of two. Don't go buying that stuff for $30, $40. And then when you're done using it, rinse it out, wash it out, fold it up, and put it back. And I'm going to show you something else that we do. I keep all my beekeeping equipment. I mean, my honey equipment in a trash bag tied up from the bottom up from the top down everything i use i put in bags and and make sure it's sterilized before i put it away i sterilize it again here's a bag i've been using forever this is a just a big giant paint strainer bag that's all this is you're gonna need you a good funnel for your jars and maybe an extra bucket or something but that's it. Don't waste your money on all that nonsense. You'll be sorry, Pee Wee Herman. You'll definitely be sorry. So I've got my equipment ready because I'm going live probably tomorrow and I'm going to spin this honey out live. You're going to see a big mess, but you're also going to see a beautiful end product like that. And what I really want to see is I want to see, I'm going to show everybody the boxes first. J3GS, I don't know if you, I don't know, brother. I don't, I don't think you'll be able to play this game because you already know about how much honey going to come out the box. The game is going to be how many jars of honey do you think I'm going to get out of all of those, that big box frames that I showed y'all. And I got three of these, three of these deep frames full of honey. How many of these jars do you think I'm going to get out of that? J3GS Farms, I bet you, you, brother, I bet you already said a number in your head. <laughs> Vision preparedness in the house. What's going on, Vision? Good to see you, man. I enjoyed you and Eco show the other night. I was riding home from, uh, from the land, and y'all kept me company, man. I wish y'all would have been on there longer because it took me a while to get home. But I enjoyed, I enjoyed the chat. Uh, hey, uh, Fang Oxide, how you doing? Let's see. Don't don't put the number in yet. We're going to do it when I go live. When I go live, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to say this. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Who? Mm, I know a lot of people going to pick the same number. So what I'm going to do is whoever picks the right number of jars that we pull, we're going to have like a a raffle and see whoever ends up winning the raffle that wins the right number to get picks the right number. I'm going to send them a jar of this. All right. I'll send you a little taste sample, a little sample, but trust and believe it's always more than it looks like. It's always more than it looks like. So any questions before I leave you all alone to your own devices for this beautiful Saturday night? I was supposed to be doing so much other stuff, but those bees was out there looking at me like, come hither, please, Father, we need you. And whew, we ran out there and I'm, I'm so glad we made it. Because look at here. Look at here, look at here. Girl, look at here. All of this. This is candy. This is God's candy right here. Let me show you before I do this. This is God's candy. All of that is pure, uncut, life-saving, health. Look up. Give me a second. I got I got some. 
We're going to cut this with something. I, <laughs> I just can't keep going head up like that. What's well that? Huh? Hmm? Hmm? This is not one of my lemons. This came from by GG and Eco House. I bought this down in Florida. And this is what the wax look like. Put that to the side. I'm going to show you what to do. I'm going to show you what to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is how you do that. Okay. That's called lemonade bomb right there. That's a real lemonade bomb right there. If you ain't never had this, if you got a little sniffle, little snot, little drip, little <laughs> coming out, do what I just did. If you can find somebody with some fresh honey, do what I just did. Hey, just Dorcha, what's up, sister? Do what I just did. Watch what happened to you. I can't make this up. Uh, any beekeepers in the house besides J3GS? J3GS, uh, I game their mom. I don't, you don't need no tequila on it. Mm -mm. Look at that. That is the best lemonade you will ever have in your life. And I probably just turned five years younger. This is the best flavors you will ever put together raw right out the gate ever in your life. This is how you do that. Do I have any questions? I'm telling you. If you can go somewhere and buy some honeycomb from a beekeeper, do what I just told you, and you're going to be like, oh, he wasn't playing. I thought he was exaggerating. You'll see this wasn't no joke at all. That right there. Tell me I'm wrong when I'm right. I'm I'm dogging it now. I'm sorry. Let me stop this. I'm dogging it now. Mm. <laughs> so trust and believe that is not for the week. I'm a fit. Ooh. Let me taste the line first, then I'm gonna stop. Let me taste, let me taste the line first, then I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. I, I'm curious now. Curious George, the curious little monkey. <laughs> let me see. This is the line. Mm-hmm. Curious George. Woo. I needed more. More sweetener. Woo. 
Now that needs some tequila. Honey ain't enough for that. That needed a shot. That right there is the bomb. That right there, what I just ate, was a whole cure. That was that was the cure to the common cold right there. That, that just solves probably relationship problem. You ain't got to go to the gas station trying to buy them fake blue pills. <laughs> That just solved a bunch of problems. Hair loss, <laughs> acne, back hair, all of that. I take some of that honey, some of that lemon, and rub it on this little patch I'm missing right there. Maybe it'll come back. Baby, come back. Okay. Do me a favor. If you ever get a chance to taste what I just showed you, that's the only way you're going to know. I'm not exaggerating. Um, Blackfoot, yes. Some call it a sling blade. I call it a cotter blade. Mm -hmm. God dang. Good one. Yes. That is my Kaiser blade. I call him Carl. Mm-hmm. I call him Carl. Mm, some call it a sling blade. I call it a Kaiser blade. Mm -hmm. French fried tater. <laughs> if you ain't never seen sling blade, you need to see that. That's Billy Bob Thornton at his best. I reckon. Give me a. Give me some of the biggins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, like Steve is going, oh, don't say his name on this channel. God, he awful. That's an awful man, man. People just starting to figure him out. I've been known him since I was a kid. Steve is going, that's a horrible man. Uh, let me see. I have an unrelated question. Let's see what your unrelated question is. Let's see. Let me see. For three day challenge, can we tag you? For three day challenge, can we tag? Yes, yes. I was like, what three day challenge? Yes, yes, definitely. I'm, I'm waiting. It's a little harder to do than people thought it was. Make three videos for no less than three minutes with at least three edit cuts. That's a little tough. Yes. Definitely. It put more hair, put hair in other places too. Vision prepared and said, yes, he is horrible. Man, what a what what a piece of crap, bro. How you doing, uh Sassy? It's good to see you in here. Uh you gotta look online somewhere, uh TRL. I I'll find it and put it in the in the chat below in the link, okay? So check the description box when I'm done. Any questions whatsoever about beekeeping, honey harvest, how much honey you'll get? Um, three, hey, uh, Riri, three-day challenge. The three-day challenge I did in a long video that a lot of people didn't see because it was close to the end. I said the three-day challenge was, can you make three, at least three videos with, and they're at least three minutes long each video with at least three edit cuts. And they can't be short video. You can't put them on your shorts. You got to put them on your regular video. I would love to see them. I can't remember what got me into that. Um, that was a long video I did that day. I can't remember what got me into that. But a lot of people don't understand. Oh, I do remember. Because I was telling people. It didn't used to be no live stream. It didn't used to be no live stream. It didn't used to be no community post. It wasn't, wasn't no short videos. People are wondering why their videos aren't doing well. And I was trying to tell them, let me, I'm gonna say this in this video and I'm not gonna make this long. We in here, I got six minutes and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this again. 
I'm gonna try to repeat this the way I said it that day because I was I was feeling it in my spirit. Live videos make versus doing a normal video is no different to me than an entertainer like a singer or rap star going on tour. You doing lives every single day is no different than that rap artist or that singer going on tour. It's quick, it's fast, it's easy money. You go out there, you remember the steps, you remember the words to the song, you do your little twirl, you kiss a couple girls' hands, you blow some kisses, throw your drawers out in the crowd, thank you, good night, and then you out, right? Here's the thing about going on tour and doing live video. Nobody cares, nobody comes back to watch those lives because once it's over, it's over, right? Now, when that singer, that YouTube content creator, when that singer is done and ready to retire and or your flame is burning out, nobody really wants to come see you live anymore. Nobody really want to see you tour anymore. No different. The only thing that's keeping money in that content creator or that entertainer out on the road, only thing that's keeping money in their pocket, keeping the lights on and their mortgage paid is those platinum hits that they did a long time ago. Those records, when they put out those platinum hits, that's where they're getting their royalties from. That's where they're getting their residuals from. And who knows, who knows, okay? That song may be picked up in a action-packed movie and that movie might go through the roof, through the box office. Next thing you know, your song is attached to that box office hit. They're not gonna do that with your live performances. They're only gonna do that with your platinum hits. It's no different from out there in Hollywood than it is right here on YouTube. I keep telling people this is the new Hollywood. Your platinum hits, that means your videos is the thing that's going to pay you. Guess what? When I look at my analytics, I don't see none of my old live videos. I don't even care if it's 30 minutes long, two hours long, four hours long. I don't care if they was hairbangers, good lives. I don't care if they had. I've had lives with over 2,000 people in them. Nobody's going back to watch those ever but you know what i do see all i see when it's time to get paid every month i see those videos just those platinum hits how to how to um graft a lemon tree how to plant a fruit tree how to do this this is me doing that those videos are the ones that's paying me after 15 years of youtube not these live videos that's that quick easy hard core money you put out those live videos when you're like oh man okay all right i'm thinking about buying this land real quick and uh okay I i'm short a little bit of money so i'm gonna put out as many lives as i can because that's quick easy money those aren't the ones that the advertisers are looking for those aren't the ones that crest commercials are looking for colgate commercials nike commercials they don't care about your live videos they want those platinum hits just like in the movies when a movie is going to be a blockbuster hit, the new uh, Jurassic Park, they don't go looking for Prince's lives. They want Prince's old classic hits. They want Purple Rain. You know, they want a, uh, Michael Jackson's Thriller. They don't go looking for their live stuff to put in their movies. They go looking for their platinum hits. And I, I challenged everybody because people was wondering why their channels ain't doing well. Because everybody is going live. And you know why YouTube promotes and gives you that money for going live? Because they know good and well, once you do this, we'll pay you one time. We're going to make money off your life, but you're not. Right? So the more platinum hits you put out, they might not be headbangers right now. I got a perfect example of that. I got one minute left. I got a perfect example of that. My very first viral video was grow your own, eat your own. About mustard greens and growing your own food. That video was old as Methuselah. And all of a sudden I woke up, boom, this video just went crazy. I'm like, what's wrong with my YouTube? I can't log on on none of my devices. That's how that works. It just picked up out of the blue. It was a platinum hit. Don't nobody care about your live videos. They'll never go back and watch those. They're entertaining for the moment. 
They're entertaining for the time. You, this is what you can say. When I first started the greenhouse lounges, when when live videos first started, right? Stick with me. When live videos first started, we started the greenhouse lounge. When we started the greenhouse lounge, there are people that was in that crazy, crazy gathering that night. The only thing they can say is, I was there when that happened. I was there when that happened. I was there when she said that. I was there when he did that. I was there. But nobody else in the world will care because nobody else know they weren't there. They have no clue. Nobody's going to go back and dig through it. And most of our lives, look, I started on this with Honey. Now I'm ending it with YouTube content creators, right? Nobody's going to see this part of this live if they ever come back. Just like before. So remember, the whole challenge started because I wanted people to understand if you want your channel to move, you got to start cranking out them platinum hits. You got to start actually putting in the work and making video. Will they hit right off the bat? Probably not. But you don't know that might be the one that somebody, some person see like, look at this dude. This is crazy. Hey, everybody come look at this. You don't know. I'm going to say this too. There are very, 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 very famous people watching you and me. You think, you think the, the, the big stars aren't watching us because we're us? Because we don't make a million dollars just for showing our face somewhere? They get bored too. Those actors, entertainers, basketball stars, football stars, all of them, them entertainers and those athletes, they get bored too. And you know what? They don't like to keep on watching their own crap because they are them. You know what Prince used to say? I don't listen to my own music. Brad Pitt say, I don't watch no movies that I've, I've played in. I've never seen not a one of them. They don't want to see they self. They sit around and watch us so they can get inspiration to become the next character of who they gonna be. In this next movie, I, I was watching this one guy and, and I think it was Brad Pitt that said he was watching some guy on YouTube and he was so interesting. So that's where he got one of his characters from, imitating him. So here's the thing, crank out, if you do a lot of live streams, ain't nothing wrong with that. But remember, that's the same as doing, a, doing touring if you're a rap star or entertainer or singer, you're going on tour. And here's the other thing about it. If you go live too much, by the time you come back and try to crank out a platinum hit, Mariah Carey, nobody's going to remember you from this new generation because it only take about a good five years for people to forget. A whole generation, a whole genre has changed. Like, um, remember uh, Mariah Carey fantasy, right? Mariah Carey went on tour for a minute. She married that little dude. What's his name? Um, what's the little guy name? She married for a hot minute and pumped her full of babies and left. Now Mariah Carey is like the Christmas singer girl. And that's all people of today, these new age kids only know her for a singing all I want for Christmas. They don't know that she was one of the biggest platinum pop stars in the world. She was like the black Madonna. They don't know that. They only know her as uh, all I want for Christmas is you Ooh, and mess that up. Ooh, baby. That's all they know. Her. That's all they know her for. I'm sorry, Mariah. You messed that one up a couple years ago. But yeah. They don't know she was cranking out them platinum hits with Diddy and everybody. They don't know. So to me, I feel like this. I'm going to do live streams. But every blue moon, I got to crank out a platinum hit because one day that, that video going to hit. These lives ain't going to hit. Guarantee you that. These live videos, what they'll end up doing is giving you a, they'll give you a decent paycheck probably this month or next month. But it's not going to keep paying you. Even if your video, I had a video, a live video like last year, I had like 2,500 people in that live stream. I, I couldn't even believe it. I don't know what I was talking about. But that video paid very well that next month. But I have nobody has ever watched it again. Even though I had 2,500 people in the live stream, nobody's watching that again. They're only watching those platinum hits because they're, you don't even know what to go put in your search engine 
to go look for for somebody's live stream. It won't pop up. It won't pop up. The only thing going to pop up when they go looking in that in that um, search bar is your platinum hits. Those vid those lives don't pop up. Tr trust me on this. Trust me. If you look at how it's how it's built, just in the entertainment business, there is no difference here because this is entertainment. This is social media. It works no different. Every now and then, you got to get in the studio and crank out a platinum hit. You got to dig deep. Drink that lemon juice before you start singing. <laughs> Drink that lemon juice. <clears throat> Me. <clears throat> mm -mm. Oh, that was flat. <clears throat> <clears throat> lemon juice, lemon juice, more lemon juice. You got to hit that. You got to make that just the hit right here. You had Smokey Robinson write the song. You got to bring your vocals. So for me, ain't nothing wrong with live streams. Ain't nothing wrong with doing a lot of them. But remember, that's your touring. And you got to put out them platinum hits. Because guess what? Here's the other thing that people don't really quite think about. <clears throat> I don't care how good you are, your, your star is going to fizzle out. Your flame is going to fizzle out. I've been watching YouTube before I was actually a content creator. And I know a lot of content creators that was big content creators. They're gone. I can name off a couple. Tay Zande, P. Allen Smith. Um, there was this one guy that ended up moving to Hawaii. I wish I could think his name. He was one of the greatest gardeners in the world. He moved to Hawaii and now he can't get 30 people to watch his videos. And he's been to he not just he's skilled and knowledgeable. He's educated, highly educated in what he does. He's not a backyard gardener and he knows his stuff. But the man can barely get 30 people to watch his videos. Now, your star will fizzle out. You're not going to solidify yourself here on YouTube forever. So the best thing you can do like that man is doing now. He's still making residuals and royalties off his old videos because people still going back and trying to figure out how do you prune a pear tree? That's where he's getting paid every month from. Not this new stuff he's doing in Hawaii. You know? Uh, no, not John Kohler. John Kohler was a big one too. And he still got a nice, decent audience, but it ain't like it used to be. It's not like it used to be. You know? Say, that's why movies have previews to draw people in. Yeah. Let me see. You can always edit your lives into smaller videos, name them something folks can search for. You know what? You can do that. And uh, what's this one guy named? He's a podcaster. He does that. Not Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan does that, too. The only problem when you do that and, and segment your live streams, people get lost and they get uninterested. They may watch Part one, they don't really care about part two. They might even blow up part three, but won't watch part one or part two. It's weird. It's weird. Say my air rooting video was a miracle. <laughs> Thank you for that. Wasn't nothing to it. So uh, TR, uh, TLR Carol, you, you're right about that. But people get lost in the translation when you segment videos like that. I've been I've been trying to think about doing that for the longest for my four hour videos, stuff like my long ones. Nobody go. Nobody's going to. They they might watch part three. Do this. This is part one of this honey thing, right? It's 350 people in the house. I bet you part two won't have that. I bet you it won't, because don't nobody care. They're like, oh, we've seen part one. What else can he tell us in part two? Whereas it might be even better and people don't even know it. They just know part one was eh, part two going to be a sleeper, but they don't know. That's probably the, that's the, just like in Hollywood, usually the sequels are better. People just don't get that, though. Um, let me see. Call it a vlog when you upload. That doesn't matter. If it suck, it suck. You can call it whatever you want to. But once people say, I think I've seen this video before, they move on. I've been in this game a long, long time. A long time. 
I've seen a little bit of everything. Hey, Tamika Wills. Hey, Nicole Groves. Any questions before I go? Let me go back up in here. No questions, and then I'm going to get out of here. John Kohler, that's a good guy. He's been in the game a long time. Let me see. Okay, no question. All right, you guys, I'm going to let y'all go. I just wanted to show y'all that honey video. I'm about to release that and let that fly and let this fly so anybody can mesh the two up. What's up, Ann for Barbecue? Good to see you, brother. We heading on out of here. Sorry that I kept y'all 10 minutes over. I'm trying to watch my time from here on out because y'all know I talk you into an early grave. You're on progress. Well, I appreciate it all. Thank you for all your knowledge, sir. You and Lady Leah Rock. Thank you very much. She rock a little bit better than I do, though. You know, she kind of milly rock. That's how I like that. <laughs> get me started. Don't get me started. We'd be on here for two hours. Um, thank you so much, you guys. Thank you. I don't want to ramble on y'all because I'm I'm really about to go up here in the den. First, I'm gonna get me a I'm gonna get me a nice little shower popping on, and I'm gonna come back down here and I'm gonna finish this honey and lemons. Cause I'm gonna tell you something else it did. I haven't eaten anything today. And I'm not hungry. Hmm. That's weird. That's a good test to try out. So this honey, lemon, and lime must have done something to my appetite. Cause I, I'm I'm not hungry at all. Uh Riri, you are a beekeeper as well. I've been keeping track of you. How long should I wait to put a super on after removing the apivar strip? I'm not sure what that is, but wait till your bees fill up at least eight frames before you put another super on top of that. Don't put another one because what you're gonna do, if they're, if they're not working on that eighth frame, at least that eighth frame, you're giving them entirely too much space. And this is what's going to happen usually. What's going to happen usually if you give bees too much space too soon, other things start to live in there. Wax moth, hive beetles, water bugs, cockroaches, uh, frogs, snakes, lizards, all that stuff start living in that empty box. And then after a while, the bees won't even touch it. And then if the wax moths start building up too high in there, they'll destroy your whole hive. So wait till you've got about at least eight frames Field the, the the bees have drawn out at least eight frames before you go putting anything on another super at all. Okay, it it goes faster than you think. Okay, so that's it, you guys. If y'all have any questions at all about beekeeping, honey or honey harvest, before I go and spin this honey out, please put it in the comment section below, and I will do my best to answer it. Do notifications work for your live videos because I never catch, see, there you go. Don't know. I don't know. I usually watch people's replays because nobody's videos pop up in, in, for me at all. I've heard people say, he don't watch my video. I ain't watching his video. It ain't that. I just don't know if you're doing a video. I have to literally go and check hundreds of people that I'm subscribed to to see if you made a video. That's the only time I'm able to catch them. They don't notify me of crap and all my notification. I've even I've even done this for um Black Tropical Homestead. I've done this for uh uh, uh ooh, 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 who was that else? Mm, mm, mm. I, I can't think who else was. Black Tropical Homestead, definitely, but it was like, oh, African Dreaming, they don't pop up in my notifications. So I went unsubscribe and resubscribe. And then I started getting notifications again just the other day. Look at this, this bee trying to come in here. He smelled, she smelled his honey in here. Better get out of here. Okay, Gigi's Natural Home says, yep, I, I got a notification three, 30 minutes into this video. I'm going to tell you something else about this. When you go live on StreamYard, StreamYard and YouTube, their signals are not matched up properly. You will be on a StreamYard video, and then it finally links up with YouTube, 
And then it alerts people. I kid you not. Every single time I do this, <clears throat> I've been on for an hour and some change and it's 300 people in here. If I went on doing just YouTube, it would be a total different story. I don't know what it is. Uh, StreamYard and YouTube, they just don't, they just, they just ain't good friends like that, I guess. Um, did I remember the guy who moved to Hawaii? No. I wish I could, though. Yes, uh, Game Nerd Mom says StreamYard lags a lot. Missy Hawk 22, that's why I miss a lot of lives just happen to be watching an old video. Uh, that's how it worked. They just be messing around watching an old video and then somebody pop up. That's all this stuff ain't perfect, fam. That's why I say crank out them platinum hits. Do not rely on your live videos. Don't, don't rely on that for that longevity. That's quick, easy money like going on tour for an artist. Don't rely on that. Because once your star fizzles out, your old platinum hits will still be paying you. Your live streams will not. Nobody's going back and watch that. All right? So everybody have a wonderful day. Hey, Callie, how you doing, little sister? Let me get out of here. Everybody enjoy your night. Enjoy your family and your friends. Go kiss on somebody, hug on somebody, and tell them you love them. Live Farmer 73, as soon as I figure out how to get out of here, I'm out. Peace, y'all.